the tip and its transition into the heart right here are by far the most important aspect of an American scrape reed. The proportions of length, thinness, slope, and blend can really make or break your reed. And as the thinnest and smallest area of the reed, this region is really easy to wreck. Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the five minute reed maker, and I wanna help you understand these two important areas and how to construct them. Here are some things you wanna think about in terms of the formation of your tip. You wanna think first about this rooftop itself and its angle. If you've got a steeper rooftop like this, you're gonna to tend to have a reed that is more um, stable. You're gonna to tend to have a reed that is a little bit darker and uh, sounds a little richer and really settles um, like middle C, that one and one note that we all hate. But um, it, with that stability can also come a lot of heaviness. Um, and it can really be hard to make a reed like that respond well. If your rooftop is super shallow, more like this, you're gonna to tend to have a really easy response but a lot of brightness um, and a lot of shallowness in the sound. So we really like the rooftop to just be sort of like a second grader's rooftop, like you would just draw on your little house. Um, you wanna think about the height of that rooftop. I usually try to put that area right here, the gutter of the rooftop as I call it, right at 65 millimeters. Some other oboists will tell you 66, that's fine. I find that if I get it down to 64, my pitch gets uncontrollably sharp, and so I prefer it a little bit up. Um, once you're working in that tip area, it's really important that you think about slope all the time. So it's always getting thinner as you head out toward the corner, and it's getting thinner as you head uh, up the side like so. So you're thinnest up here and thickest in the center by far. Which brings me to the structure of this blend and this transition itself. Um, you should be able to really clearly see the rooftop. You can see it, you can run your thumbnail across it, and you can feel it, it's visible in any light. But then when you look through the reed in the light, you should be able to see quite a lot of good stuff in here, quite a lot of thickness and thickness sort of continuing in this area. So I call this sort of the two-dimensional versus the three-dimensional slope. You can see this cut in whoosh, really clearly, but up here, that's where uh, some of the magic happens. That's where some of your sound, some of your stability, and some of the good resistance comes from. Finally, there's the structure of that transition itself. If you can imagine a reed lying on its side pointing this way, Here's the bulk of the heart, the heavy, strong heart. Here's the transition. And here's that thin tip sloping all the way out to its thinnest point at the tip of the tip. There's a couple of different ways of scooping this transition out. You could do it like this, as a strong wall, followed by a super thin tip. This does work, but uh, you're gonna end up with a lot of resistance and a lot of bulk to have to get through because it's not easy for the vibrations to get from the tip into the heart. Some people will do it like this, where it's extremely shallow and almost not uh, stopped at all. The result here is that when you tongue at the tip, your entire reed starts vibrating. And of course that takes longer than just vibrating the tip. So your response is still more difficult than you would want it to be. Um, the an, Another way that people work is by making a curve. It's gentle here and then ends abruptly right there at the tip. And the result here is still is quite thuddy. You tongue here and you get huh uh, because it takes some energy to get your vibration through and into the heart. The really ideal way for this transition to lie is like a skateboard ramp. Your heavy heart here a whoosh, like so, and then a tip that continues to slope all the way out to the tip of the tip. Here's where the vibrations begin. They come in, and they're easily able to make that transition into the heavy heart, um, which stabilizes, uh, resists in a good way, and gives you your strength and your quality of sound. This has been a five minute Read Maker video. In my next one, I'll show you a couple of different scraping techniques to put this tip and transition into place. I hope you're finding these helpful. Please comment here or reach me through my website if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.